just over, Cal Ripken Jr. and Tony Gwynn will be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame tomorrow. Jamie Costello is in Cooperstown with more from the fans on Cal's induction weekend. Uh, it's peaceful and quiet here tonight, but it won't be tomorrow with about uh, 60,000 on the hill. This is where Cal will make his induction speech. The Hall of Famers are behind him, and look who's out in front of him. You and you and you, you are ready. You have been staking out your territory since 24 hours ago, and if you've ever been to the Preakness, then this is nothing. And we got great spots. We got better spots than we, we thought. This is a cross between the Ocean City Boardwalk and Main Street and Disney World. No Mickey, but there's a Cal. Cal's not about the street. Cal's not about baseball. Cal's about class. And when Mr. Class walked around Doubleday, you could feel Abner's place shake. Look at the handshake for an autograph. Look at Cal put a cap on. Look at Cal smile like he's up here with family. He wiped sweat on the former Oriole backstop Andy Etchbarren and then signed our first pitch to Andy from Aberdeen. I just told him he was my idol and asked for an autograph and he gave it to me so it was a pleasure to meet him. Again, just look at the size of the crowd. It's just a tremendous turnout. We watched him play as a family. We're going to see him go in the Hall of Fame as a family. I yes, know. I don't go back to August the 7th. Good for you. <laughs> and here's the other Iron Man, Ernie Tyler. Cal called him and said, come on up. Oh, at first I was stunned and I thought, I thought somebody was pulling a joke. Because I had no intention of coming up here because it's too crowded. My girlfriend used to deliver your mail. If you could sign that. At 83, matter. he's acting like a rock star. Come on, kid. <laughs> Cal's paying for the hotel. I said, I'm on my way. All right. <laughs> this is like to come up and see this little kid I used to watch playing baseball and kick around balls at, or at Memorial Stadium. No, I didn't get that. Oh. 1960 to now. Look at all this stuff you could have. Can you believe this? And all on account of a little bit of mud and just showing up every day. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. Be well. Thank you. We got the uh, porta pots behind us. We got Cal in front of us. Life's pretty good. As our good friend Chuck Thompson would say, Jamie, ain't the beer cold. <laughs> Later in sports, we'll take a look at Cal Saturday in Cooperstown. We'll see you then. Well, this weekend, the Orioles are hosting the New York Yankees with so many O's fans in Cooperstown. There were plenty of seats available at Camden Yards for Yankees fans. ABC 2 News Christian Schaefer spent some time with them. Is it the Inner Harbor or Times Square? There's Yankee fans taking pictures of each other, Yankee fans holding hands, Yankee fans channeling Channel 2. Your Channel 2, same number as Derek Jeter. <laughs> Some, when prompted, even talking about Cal Ripken. I know he's a hell of a ball player, which I say that. Yeah, heck, yeah. heck of a ball player. <laughs> An invasion from the north. Thousands of Yankee fans making their way here by train, by car, even. We took a big 15 passenger van down for my friend's bachelor party. He's over there. They all came to see one thing. A Rod's going to hit number 500, and we're going to be there to cheer for him. But they know they're in a city that's ready for a celebration. Do you have any sense of what's going on tomorrow? Yes. Hall of Fame, Cal Ripken. We did manage to find a few O's fans from North Carolina. As a kid, I grew up uh, coming up here as vacation and stuff, and Cal Ripken was always my childhood hero. Of course, only a Yankee fan would interrupt an interview. No, no, no Yankee, no, no. Wrong, 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 no, no, wrong, I had, wrong, I wrong city. Guys doing wrong, it. I wrong had, city. I had to stick my face in here, sorry. I do, I must say, though, Baltimore fans are all right. Yeah. Even this guy had nice things to say about Cal. Oh, I have a lot of good things to say about him. I respect the man who does that many good things and uh, who's played the game that hard, that long. That's one thing all baseball fans in town this weekend can agree on. Not a real really. baseball fan loves all players. <laughs> Except for the Red Sox. <laughs> and that's another one. Reporting from downtown Baltimore, Christian Schaefer, ABC2 News.